Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. Let me get on camera. Oh, my camera's off. Okay, hang on a second. My, um... Um, fix it. All right. It's the little camera in the corner where you see me, but it's locked up right now. So hang on one quick second. Deactivate. Activate. Wave. Yep, it's working. Okay, here we go. And I already said hello, but I'll say hello again. Hello, Janice. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Mona. And hello, Linda. I am so glad you guys are here tonight. Hang on one second. I've got, um, there we go. Nope. There we go. Well, okay, my camera's working. And hello, Virginia. Well, tonight is a night of saw blade clocks and i got some new colors they're all listed down in the description but first i've got to mix up some resin but before i do that i've got to get some gloves out i'm using good old stone coat countertops art coat uh, i need a rag for alcohol because i know my i whoops ah! poured the wrong stuff or started to pour the wrong stuff okay so how is everybody tonight hello Jan seeing if I'm missing anybody and hello Cynthia nice to see you honey um I don't know if you read my message or not. I didn't see. I didn't have a time to see an answer, uh, Linda. But um, email me what email address you sent it to because I didn't get it. I just checked it right before I uh, right after you said that and didn't see it. So I will email you the correct address again. Okay, I don't think I need much tonight, so let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, nine ounces. Well, no, I don't need no nine ounces. So I'm going to, well, yeah, I better, because there's two clocks. Seeing if I missed anybody. I think I said hi, Jan, so I'll just do a blanket hello like Cynthia. Hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do nine because I don't know where four and a half is at. So, well, I can try to, try to guesstimate what four and a half is. Because I want to do... I want to do two ounces of the white, which is, oh, wait till you see that white. That white is so sparkly, it's unbelievable. And then I'm going to do one ounce of every color. And hello, Sunita. Oh, no, I'm not going to drop this on. Are you talking to me, Shannon? I'm not going to drop it on my foot. Anyway, the um, reason I ran the ads at the beginning is because Cheryl may not be here tonight. So, I wanted to put my little ads out there, and I'll do it near the end, too. Because I never explained to Shannon yet how to do the ads. So... I got my desktop up over there with my little program that it only takes two keystrokes to type one ad. So that's what I did. That's how I that's how I moderate for everybody. So 
I got some new colors. Let me look at the clock to make sure I'm mixing right. Yeah, I know, I forgot. Shannon, sorry about that. Um, but I can double duty. If Elisa comes in, she might do it. And GE Art 20. Hello, GE. I don't know what to call you, so I'll call you GE. How's that? But nice to see you. That, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Here, I'll bring one up real quick. The paint kind of chipped off a little bit. I did um, I did tape and I did some mo uh, Monster Liquid Latex on the back. You got to be careful when you're working with these. You don't want to um, cut yourself because they're sharp. I recommend every time somebody buys one, I always recommend hang it high so kids, so little kids can't get to them. <laughs> and hello, Angela. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So I'm doing um, I'm doing an orange, yellow, and purple on one with a little bit of gold, and then I'm doing a deeper purple, but a lighter orange and a green on the other. And they're both going to have the sparkly white in the background. So I'm mixing up my resin really, really quick. And because they're blades. <laughs> They're metal, so if I, if I hold them careful, I can um, do torch and tilt to get some cells. Oh, it's not bling tonight. It's just a plain black one. But when I work with resin, I try to get all of my hair out because my hair, when it's down, it goes almost in the middle of my back. And, yeah, I lose a lot of it, so I try, I try to, uh, try to make sure, um, it's all up. Okay, let me see. I don't see any little wispies. I always mix my resin for three minutes, but you want to check, um, check the manufacturer's instructions, but, um, that, but that's what this one is is three minutes okay that looks like about two ounces and this is art coat tonight so it's got a long working time so it's not going to set up in the cups i love that part you know what let me just oh there's an extra cup let me just get all my cups in a row thank god i got my apron on i just dripped on my lap See if anybody else came in. No, that would not be good to get in my hair. And I've been lucky. I haven't I haven't gotten it in my hair, but I'm not but I like to put my hair up because it's so long and, and it does fall out that I've gotten hair in my resin art before, so and I don't think anybody wants to see a long gray hair. In their resin art so I make sure I pull them out and I do have if I oh shoot that's way too much color in there so I'm gonna pour a little bit over I'm not using my silicone mixing cups tonight, and I've gotten tired of trying to clean these things. So, it will just sit off to the side, and I will dry it, and I need a tissue. Hang on, there we are. Hang on one second.
it's allergy season for me, obviously, because it, uh, okay, I can put a little bit more over here, a little bit more over here. I'm trying to even them all out to where it almost looks like an ounce in each one. And I can put a little bit more over there. What's going to take the longest is the mixing of all the colors. Okay. I'm seeing... Oh, hello, Sally. No, you're not late. All I did was mix the resin so far. Sally, I meant to text you and ask you if you got any press and seal yet and if you've gotten uh, the tape or the parchment paper. Now, unfortunately, I did this, excuse my language, I did this ass backwards. Really, you should put your powder in the cup before you put your resin in there. Because what you need to do is, is when you're mixing your resin with the powder on top with the micas, you got to kind of get it in, a cor incorporated enough so when you start mixing it, it won't poof back in your face. Okay, let me see. Okay, yeah, there you go. Now you can see that. Okay. Because I bought a, a extra roll of press and seal, and I bought an extra roll of parchment paper. Uh, pick up some foam boards, Sally, and we're we're gonna have a little lesson on how to make the box and how to do the back of your canvas and all that good stuff uh, all the stuff that doesn't come with the actual creating the art and good day Sue and hello Sherry I think I got everybody okay this is the Ken Gold by um by eye candy. Every, every single color I'm using tonight is an eye candy customs. They're listed down below. And if you want to get yourself some, make sure you use my 10% off code. Oh, sorry. I should be doing this underneath the camera. And here is the gold. This gold is so luscious. It is unbelievable. Seeing if I missed anybody yet. Well, hello, Carol. Oh, Carol. Don't ask me what I had for lunch, honey. Don't ask me what I had for lunch yesterday. You would be very, very, very upset with me. You would be very, very upset with me. This is the tiger, which is an orange. Kind of like, oops, see, go slow until you get your uh, dry mica wet with the resin. Then, then it won't poof back in your face. It's, it's called tiger, and to me it's more like a burnt orange. Okay. This is Quijada Yellow. I can tell you right now. Let it out. <laughs> um, yesterday, my, um, my whole um, um, lunch and dinner consisted of a... Uh, because uh, they have the two for five dollars on the Whoppers right now. So I got, um, I got um, two of those at lunch and then brought one home and ate it for dinner along with potato chips and oh I did have a protein bar uh, I had two sandwiches today with bologna and cheese because I had some provolone I had to use up okay this is the Quijada yellow oh these words that's the only thing I don't like about this hello Sam and hello Monica Nice to see you, ladies. Now, this is the jasmine, which is a purple, but a, not a deep purple like the uh, velvet's going to look like. You'll see that in a minute. 
all this mixing for 10 minutes worth of uh, working on the art piece because I want to make sure I get done before Tish gets goes live Okay, seeing if I missed anybody. I love this purple. But wait till you, wait till you see the uh wait till you see the uh velvet. Cuz this one is so pretty. This one is a deeper purple. A friend of mine actually bought me some um some colors she lives local so she just ordered it through my links had it sent to her house and then when I had to go get something else from her she said oh I got a box of something for you it's like you do and I cried when I opened it I cried when I opened it okay here is the velvet it's a purple with kind of a blue tinge to it and hello Melinda nice to see you and hello Charnel and Charnel I owe this to Charnel because Charnel did a PayPal Let me make sure I hit the right one this one for Charnel thank you thank you thank you for your donation Charnel Oh, I don't have time to eat healthy. I'm too busy. Okay, this is the fire orange, which is a lighter orange. Um, these are new. Okay. But these were ones that uh, Menards, I think, was getting rid of because they were they were reduced on clearance. Yeah, I had uh, four new Milwaukee saw blades, and Tish almost cried when she saw me paint them to pour on. This is fire orange, and last but not least is Imperial Jade. Yes, the velvet is eye candy, too. All of these colors are eye candy tonight. Okay, what a GE. Yep, yep, I agree. I agree, except I don't have time to, um, time to, um, eat right. I just, I don't really eat food. I just eat substance, okay, whatever's handy. I am trying to find the time to thaw out this big turkey breast I got in the freezer because I want to put it in a slow cooker. I keep telling Joe Patty I want to bring it over to her house, but okay, yeah, art, food, and wine. There you go, Carol. There you go, and you, oh, go Sonita, go Sonita, yes, a girl after my own heart. Okay, let me move these guys over here. So first, I'm going to put a little bit of this down on each one. The hole is taped with the, um, let me see. Eh, it doesn't look that sparkly. I was reading the chat, sorry. If you have any questions and I don't catch it, just keep typing your question in all caps because that will stand out better. Okay, there's an ounce on each one now. Let me heat it up, get rid of the air bubbles. Oh, everybody's talking about food.
I had my air gun, my heat gun on a couple times today because I didn't start painting these and prepping them until <laughs> four hours ago and I was worried it wouldn't dry. Now all I'm doing is, is I'm just spreading the resin out to kind of get the little teeth covered. Resin self level, so don't worry if it's like thicker in one spot. Just make sure you got some on every one of them. Look at that sparkle. This this color right here, this white, is called icicle. And that's exactly what it looks like is a bunch of icicles. Okay, there we go. I was going to try to do beach ones again, but I found out from the last ones I did with a white background, the white really shows up around the edges. Okay, let me clean that off. Okay, I'm going to work on this little bad boy first. This is the tiger which to me is like almost like a uh, almost like a, a, a burnt orange and I know I'm going to have some resin left but I've got some jewelry molds that I want to try out before I um, before I um, um, I, I got some UV resin the other day too okay that's the burnt orange That is the Quijada Yellow. Oh, no, that's okay. I understand. I understand. Yes, these will be clocks. I am plan I haven't set the date yet. But I am thinking of doing a auction on a Saturday this month of my um all my clocks okay let me heat this up a little bit and get it to move before i put some gold on it this also gets rid of the air bubbles Okay, let me see. See if I can tilt it down. There we go. Ooh! Your heat gun makes these metal blades hot, so be careful when you do that. Okay, now. See, there's not a whole lot to the to the pouring on this, really. Debating if it needs well. Let me pop the air bubbles on this. Um, it all the it all depends, GE, if I will or not. All depends on if I got any um any little pits or anything like that. Okay, I want a couple of little, little tiny light lines, so I'll use the end of my stick. And I guess it wouldn't hurt to go across just the white. I'm going to let this little guy sit. 
while I work on the other one. I'm going to bring them a little bit closer. Okay. Um, this one I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do a couple little puddle pours. I want to... I want to do it different. I don't want to do the, the swoosh. I'm going to do a couple little puddle pours and blow those out. Okay, that's the uh, the velvet. I had to think for a minute. Now I'm going to put a dollop of orange in there. Come on, drip. I didn't want to do another one kind of like that. I wanted to do something different. And I got some orange drips where they don't belong, but I know that's what he said. I hope that isn't what he said because orange drips could mean something weird. And I hope I don't offend anybody when I say stuff like that. Sorry to the new people. We're all adults here, so we all joke. Okay, now, okay, let me get a clean stick before I do anything else, and let me just wreck them. Okay, well, let's see how this blows out. Um, that's not a blue, unfortunately. Wait a minute, let me get... Ah, shoot. I'm trying to scoop my tray over and I'm knocking my cups over. I'm trying to get the glare off of it. They're both purples, but for some reason, they don't look right. The, the color of this I don't know it's, I don't know if it's the cameras or YouTube or what it is okay let me Somebody wants a burger. Greetings, Tish. Yeah, you're still my neighbor. I guess I can still call you neighbor. Instead of being to the west of me, you are to the south of me now. Just like in acrylic pouring, you tilt until you get the composition you like. This one, this one needs some color to come this way. So let me see what I can do with the color. I like that a lot better. 
Yep, I like that a lot better. Although I think a couple of the feet are having a problem with something not right underneath them. So I'll get four more out. I will bring them up to play for the camera in a second. Sorry, Shannon. Tell, Just, tell Justine I don't have to wipe their box. Well, yeah, I do. I have to scrape the drips off. But I don't have that many drips under there. And remember, I put... Um, I put the latex, the liquid latex under there. Frank is waking up from his nap. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Oh, thank you, Shannon. There you go. And hello, Sarah. Okay, let me, okay, I will bring this one up. Now, that is purple. That is not blue, but look at the sparkle. See, it's hard without tilting it really bad to get the sparkle in there. I love that tiger orange. This one was tiger orange, um, key, key something yellow, Quijada yellow, and jasmine with some kin gold and the icicle underneath it. And then this one was the velvet, the fire orange, and the imperial jade with some uh, gold on top and then uh, the icicle underneath it. As long as I don't get too many... Imp See, I, I, I'm going to have to take a white paintbrush because some of the paint chipped off when I was trying to get rid of something on there. Always prep your pieces at least a day before you're going to pour on them. Thank you, Carol. Yes, thank you. Oh, hi, Patricia. Sorry, I just now saw you. So, it is only 6.33, but I'm going to let everybody go. I'm going to pour off the rest of this resin in some of those jewelry molds that I have. And um, I don't know if Tish has got the link or not um, to her live. But in 27 minutes, the Artist Haven will be live. Um, she's testing something tonight. There you go. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, hi, Nita. Nita, your package went out today. Okay, I, I don't know how they're going to dry. We will find out, I guess. So, I'm going to let everybody go. Um, and we'll meet up over at um, Seneca Jewelry at Yahoo.com. Okay, I'll have to check to see. The, oh, hi, Jeff. Or, hail, Jeff. So, um, let's all head over in uh, 26 minutes. Um, over to, um, thank you, Tish. Good night, Sunday. Oh, hi, Gloria. I'm seeing people... A little late sorry about that um, but you can always back it up and watch the replay let me see if I can get these little guys both back on camera there we go so 
Thanks for joining me tonight. Y'all are awesome. Like I always say, I love the resin right out of you. Unless I'm doing acrylics and I like love the fluid arts right out of you. <laughs> oh my God, look at how sparkly my oops, women. I don't know if you can see it. My rag is all sparkly now too. <laughs> I love that. So you guys have a great evening. I'll see you over there. And for those of you that are watching, oh, welcome to all the new people. <laughs> I love that. Let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves a drink. Yep, there you go, Shannon. That's a cute one. So welcome to the channel to all the new people. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to check out this video up here. Or this video down here I love the resin right out of you guys y'all are awesome so thank you very much and all I can say is bye for now